to the base location, if you look right there, it's all the way over here. So pretty far base location. The, the positive on this particular map is these locations are quite close to one another. So the enemy bases are very close. All right, let's turn a little bit more. Yeah, currents suck when they're going against you. Oh, can it go 90 plus knots? I, I don't know if that's good or not. I'm I'm not a seaman. I mean, I was once, but um, not in a very long time, and I don't remember those those days. Yep, yep, we're good, we're good. Getting very close. At this point, we can let the current take us in. And actually, I think I can see... Yep, I can see the island. I can see her. Now, I'm going to send the albatross up pretty soon. In fact... Might already get the albatross up. Pretty sure it's A1 or A2. We are deploying in rough seas, but you gotta do what you gotta do, boys. I didn't make the rules. They are. Good times, good times. I won! I won the race! I won the race! Oh, yeah. Oh, we got an island for sure. Let's just make sure that the thing's not going to smack into a wave. Um, and fairly soon here, I'm going to turn down the knots. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Both E1 and E2 are going to be the uh, the albatrosses. When do you guys generally pull back on the, um, the rudder? Because I'm thinking, like, you want to be directly over that with the with this particular box. Although even now, maybe this would be, you know, safe enough to kind of stop. I'll get a little bit closer, but I'm thinking we can stop pretty soon. Oh, I think he's about to take off. And we're going to call in some cruise missiles here. Ooh. We might have some amphibious units, although I doubt it. I think it's going to just be land-based units. So typically, I'll let my um, albatross with the gimbal camera call in the targets. There he goes. Good luck. Don't die. Don't die. Ah, oh, good boy. Well done. All right. We're going to pull back on the rudder here. Let's get a look there. First of all, I want to go ahead and set a nice path. And make sure that he is quite high up. Just about 2,000. Um, I think 2,000 feet is the max. So we'll go ahead and do that. I don't want to get hurt. Alright, let's take a look here to you, Mr. Albatross. Get over to that there gimbal camera. Oh, baby. Alright, boys and girls. Um, I didn't unlock weapons. I need to go back and unlock cruise missiles and all that fun stuff. But for now, it's sufficient that I just mark these targets. Let's stabilize. Hold on, hold on. I want to read this. Um, I tend to use my hollow map to try and work out where the reefs are. Then get okay, okay. I see what you see. I don't typically like to take that risk, but I know exactly what you mean. In other words. Keep on going forward until we start getting uh, contacts on the um, on this thing, the uh, the depth sonar. All right, all right, I see what you mean. Let's do that. We need to go ahead and allow weapons anyway. Cruise missile and main gun. I haven't used a flare launcher yet. What's up, man? Thank you so much, buddy. Have to set all the waypoints to a thousand. Okay. You're going to have to probably walk me through that once we get there. Right now, I'm going to... I think that's close enough for me. Yeah, I'm starting to see something on the depth sonar. So I'm going to halt right there. Let's get back to the view. Bomb these bastards from the sky. get some additional information 
Yeah, there is no time compression. It is one of those old-fashioned simulators where, like, you know, you're you're gonna be uh, spending some time on it. But I agree, there should be a time compression option. Uh, there should be an option, you know, overall just to fast forward because a lot of the movement in between islands and just the waiting time to get your um, crafts back to the ship can be a little tedious, for sure. For sure. Oh, you little fuckers. You're firing at my ship? No, no. I'm gonna get the carrier gun. Die. Let's hope that support comes in quick. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Right over here as well. I'd like to give both of them together, but I'll take what I can get. There's two there. It's calling support. Two over here as well. Quite a lot of ground units on this island, actually. Oh, look at that. Oh, yes. Look at how beautiful that is. Now, the issue is that we have a um, limited amount of carrier gun rounds. So right now we've got 11, and that's going to drop down to four, I believe. Or maybe seven. We'll find out right now. Six. So we're going to have to try and get additional... Um, I'm actually not sure what these carrier weapons are called. I know the cruise missile. I know how to purchase that, but I'd love to find a way to purchase these. Because we have essentially one more shot. And what I'm going to do is switch over here. Let's get to the um, carrier missile. Your major issue right now is you set one of the air circle waypoints to 1,000, but the other waypoints are still set to 400. Oh, I understand what you're saying. In other words, you have to manually set all of them, not just one of them. Okay. Oh, I did not know that. By the way, we still have enemy targets out there that are really scary. Don't worry, we're still getting that missile support. It's coming in. Look at that, boys and girls. We'll set that. I'm just, I want to see this explosion. Visuals are more important than, than life right now. Come on. Oh, not good. Missed one of the targets. All right, let's pop out a bit here. I see what you mean, man. Very cool. I did not know that at all. Set the desired altitude initially, then drag it. Okay, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. I mean, a bit late to do that now, but for the future, I definitely understand what you mean. All right, let's make sure he's at 2,000 completely. Yeah, we're good now. One more. I don't know. I might have to use that carrier gun. The The issue is I wanted to save those rounds for the next island. Um, but there's still a lot of enemies there. Like, quite a few enemies. So we've still got plenty of cruise missiles. So let's just get back to work, I think. We could also try to carry in an attack run with the Albatross. Although recently, I don't really like to risk the Albatross, if I can help it. Hope that missile finds its target. Now, it is a tracking missile, so it's going to find him no matter what. Uh, even if you see that support canceled, we are still firing another one. As you can see, we've got five of these cruise missiles. We've ordered some additional ones. I swear, I've never seen an island with um, this many defenses. Pretty significant, man. Come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Yes, nice hit. Beautiful hit. Um, are there any thermals? I wish there were. I'm sure that eventually, because like, you can unlock a lot, <clears throat> you can unlock a lot of stuff in this game. Um, I'm sure that, like, eventually, you know, you can probably unlock something like thermals. You can certainly unlock improvements for all of your existing craft. Let's give him one more cruise missile strike. And while that's um, outgoing, I am going to start dropping some surface uh, units here. 
Let me just see where that barge is because we've got surface chassis on the way as well. Just not sure how long it's going to take to get here. Oh, it's pretty close. Really close, actually. All right. Very cool. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Let's just make sure, though. Could probably still get another shot here. No, nope, no good. So again, we got to call in another missile. It's also good just to get like all of the information from uh, these ground vehicles. Um, I think it actually, actually we get like armor information as well, which helps our men on the ground or our vehicles on the ground. So that one's just damaged. Interesting. Look at that. That guy was just kind of damaged. Just make sure that we call all of them out. Oh, thank you, Meep. So I can actually kind of guide this little bastard. Oh, I see what you mean. Cheers, man. Look at that. That is amazing. Wow. Cheers, man. Love just learning all these new little tricks. But that alone is just a game changer. Let's get one more. And I'm going to do the same thing. Just keep it centered on these guys. But yeah, a lot of uh, enemy ground units on this island. I mean, my goodness. Get him, boys. Yes. I think we've gone pretty crazy on the missiles. I almost feel like now we should leave it to the ground units. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. In fact, I'm going to do something somewhat risky here. So what's the best way, guys, to do an albatross attack run? I'm going to try one right now like this. Um, go for a missile double on that target. And now with my ground units. First of all, let's make sure that we're not taking any damage on the ship itself. Oh, no, we are taking damage on the ship. Look at this. We got to start fixing this. The best way to do this is actually to um, make sure that all other systems are off. But we absolutely took some hits there during this fight. Let's get to see what the virus spots this way. He's actually firing at the enemy. Holy hell, man. We are under heavy fire. Um, well, not under heavy fire, but we're under fire. So let's push this seal forward. This seal forward. They seem to just want to kind of retreat. Um, let's just put this fire spot over here. But yeah, we might need to call in those attacks a little bit closer. In fact, we'll deploy A2. Uh, tracking will try to keep the camera pointed at the same point on the ground you left it while stabilized, which will keep it at the same angle related to the craft. Ooh. Yeah, we are definitely taking shots there. Hold on a sec. Let's see how the Albatross is doing on his own. Is he going in for the attack run? Oh, there we go. We definitely destroyed one of their units, but we're still taking ground fire from another one. So let me get him back up to altitude of 2,000. And I'm going to do what you guys said. So at this point, I'm just going to drag from this existing marker around the island. So we'll do like... Get back in there. Camera. Let's get to the gimbal. There's something right on the beach here. There's definitely an enemy unit somewhere just right on the beach. You can drag an attack from a patrol marker and it will do the attack, then return to patrol. Oh! Oh, I like the sound of that. What I like the sound of even more, though, is calling in another cruise missile strike right here. Because this thing is so damn close, and it's three enemy units, for goodness sakes. 
just seems like an opportune moment to get a nice hit. Look at that missile coming in, man. That's so pretty. Come on, come on. Defend the ship, boys. Defend the ship. Here she comes. Yeah. I wonder if I can just add him to an existing... No, I cannot. This is not the kind of setup I wanted, but uh, we're going to use this guy to attack that final... Um, uh, that final unit right there. In fact, I'll see if this Albatross can go ahead and carry out that attack run with the gun and destroy it. Yeah, let's start sending the guys to the shore. First, we've got to get them out of the hangar here. Might need to get in there and micromanage a bit. Let's see. Let's try missile single. Oh, he already fired it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I think I want to bring this guy back. He's he's done enough. Yes! Okay, well, that was a hit. It's not a kill. So let's go ahead and hit him with another one. I just don't feel safe sending the, vi the virus bots... The virus bots? <laughs> I don't feel safe sending the virus bots directly forward. Um, I think I want to send these guys forward first. The seals. Um, and just kind of see if they take any ground fire, and then we'll decide to move the virus bots forward. So let's just keep it simple. But I agree um, with the time compression comment, because this is a great example of that, where time compression would be, you know, really, really useful here, basically. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't think he's destroyed yet. Nonetheless, I think we can deal with one enemy vehicle. We should be able to uh, make short, short work of him. All right, we're going straight for the attack at this point. Um, when they're about right here, then I'm going to bring the seal with the virus bots. And look at that. We're going to get some additional chassis here, um, as well as some cruise missiles, I believe. So we are certainly getting some support. And we just got a wonderful missile strike there. We'll bring those Albas back home. Now, sometimes those babies don't land properly. Let's hope that these did. Because I'm already seeing one missing, and that's got me worried. That's been one big um, complaint, actually, with players of the game, that um, a lot of the Albas get destroyed. There we go. He's coming in still. But sometimes they just don't land properly. I see her. I see our baby. She's coming in, boys. We're going to hang out here for the landing. And that barge is also um, dropping off some goods. So all good throughout. Perfect landing. Absolutely perfect. Okay, I see ground fire. So for sure, our seals are going to be taking ground fire. Yep. Kind of expected that. There'd be, I knew there would be something there. Let's just hope that it's not a lot. Let's, let's hope it's not much. In fact, I'm going to divert this seal team over here. Um, I'll center to the vehicle just to get a visual of what's going on here. Looks like he has an issue with his gun. I don't know if the gun is damaged or if the red just signals to us that he's firing. But look at this island. What a beautiful first island to capture got these wonderful peaks off off to our northwest just a nice place man i like this we called in so many damn cruise missiles so many carrier attacks on this thing but as long as it's ours that's all i really care about and sure enough he is going around this little mountain range right here or maybe just hills and essentially trying to work his way near the enemy base go for it man Is that other albatross not coming back yet? What in the world are you doing? He is coming back. Just 
returning in a very strange way. Alright, so we can actually take a look at our new chassis. Hmm. So it didn't give us the Alba chassis. We didn't get any of the chassis. We did order them, but it wasn't delivered. So I wonder if you have to, like, take islands first before you get additional chassis. Or maybe you need to, like, lose craft. Um, they were definitely in storage, but again, we did not get um, either of them. So I wonder what that's about. We'll figure it out soon enough. In the meantime, we are getting close to the enemy base. And I believe that this Alba is coming in for that landing. Absolutely wonderful. Leaving the first island with two albatrosses. I can dig it, for sure. So far, I'm not seeing any of that ground fire, so hopefully we've destroyed all um, all enemy targets. Without a shadow of a doubt, they have added some additional enemy units, because that's pretty uh, pretty surprising. In fact, I'm going to see if we can't purchase uh, some additional cruise missiles. What are those things called? Like, is that the artillery gun? What are the things called for the ship? Um, the, the ship guns. We're going to find out. The rocket pod's also great. We need to get more of those. Would it be the rockets? I don't think so, because we actually have a few still in stock. We've got nine cruise missiles. That's not bad. But I wonder which of these missiles it actually is. Um, that would help us, because I want to order a whole bunch more of those. Either way, we, we can get some more cruise missiles, too. Um, let's just get... They're 2,000 apiece. Pretty expensive. In fact, I don't even think we can we can afford one right now. Let's Let's see. Maybe it's a lack of money. Maybe that's the reason we aren't getting any of these things. I think that's what it is. We need to get more cash in-game. All right, let's go over here and see how they're doing. All right, not so bad. Not so bad. Everything looks pretty good. Really a uh, rocky island, though. That's for sure. Love all the different biomes, and this one is definitely reminding me of sort of like a Nordic island, something off the coast of Sweden. I don't know if it's, if it's the vaccine, but I'm sweating like a dog. Thank God, I don't have a webcam right now. Jesus. They did say, like, um, that there's possibility for, like, side effects, diarrhea, uh, fever, vomiting. Like, they, they, took, they gave me this list of side effects. And then, like, after we got our vaccine, they kept us for 30 minutes in this waiting room. I guess to, like, kind of see whether or not we um, developed any symptoms. That was pretty scary. But, yeah, my headphones are, like, getting drenched. Now I'm worried about, like, electrocuting myself. All right, we're almost there. Just a matter of time. Just fire over a quick message on the on the tubes, folks. Hold on. If you see the game lag uh, or pause, like I said, it just means that I'm um got this on all tab. Just want to send a message out here on the old YouTube's. Post. Nice. Cheers, guys.
Make sure those virus bots are going to their designated location, and they are. Yep, the island's going to be ours very shortly, folks. In fact, I think we could start bringing back the rest of the seals. Um, we'll start doing that. Now, one thing I'm not sure about is if we can start bringing back the mothership. I'm just going to call it the mothership, the one that brings the virus bots. Because I'm not sure if she has to remain here while they hack. Um, I just kind of assume she does, so we'll leave her right there as the virus bots start hacking away here. Hey, we got all of our air units back. I'm pretty pretty impressed by that, I must say. Pretty surprised, too. Yeah, he's good on missiles. Again, a little frustrated that we can't use that other chassis, but I think it's a money issue. It's a funds issue, I'm pretty sure. Oh, cheers. Okay, well, <clears throat> knowing that, let's get this mother back. Boom. If we wanted to speed it up, we could also get a little bit closer to the island, but uh, I'm not trying to push our luck. And also, we're, we're pretty close here. I'm a little concerned about hitting the reef, so since I'm a nervous Nelly, um, I'm just going to hit reverse and just back up a bit. And actually, I'll kind of turn her a bit so that... Like, we're going to have to turn that way anyway. We'll just turn her a bit. And this will make it a little easier for them to get into the uh, the old poop chute. That's what I'm calling it from now on. It's not the dock, it's the poop chute. Here we go. And then forward. Yeah, we're probably going to have to attack a Class 2 island. I don't doubt it. Okay, there we go. Just center around a bit more. I'll turn off reverse and this time finally the current is going to be going with us so that should be extremely helpful i still got to watch out with that uh that reef there still got to watch out oh boy oh boy or, oh i think we're okay but eh, i gotta be careful sometimes with these here reefs all right let's stop about there um actually i could power her out a little bit more just get away from this it's making me nervous And then we'll let the uh, the ships get here because this is this is quite a journey for them. But let's do that. We'll hold right there, and we're just waiting. All right, one down. Let's see how the opposing team is done. I think we got two enemy uh, team members. I didn't want to do four because I really wanted to take our time. But you can see our land units are all the way over there. Still, they still have a ways to go before they get back here. What's up, Pixel? How you doing, buddy? Thanks so much, man. It does, yeah. It does for sure. Look at that, they're still taking ground fire. Whoa. Take a look here for a second. How the hell is that happening? There must be some sort of enemy that we didn't see up here. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing them at all. But I'm hoping that if they, they remain close to the coast here, that they'll avoid the fire. Because we actually came through this area before. We didn't take any shots. So I'm guessing that he's up here. Um, and firing down that way, so hopefully if we're directly underneath him, he won't actually be targeting us. There we go, the virus bots continue to do their work. They're getting closer and closer. Try and spot with the ship camera, roger that. I don't want to waste my rounds, though, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I'm pretty, um, being pretty selfish right now with my ammunition. Yeah, so it's got to be way back there, because uh, the guy up here is taking shots. Maybe way back on the other side there. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm really not. If we lose a seal, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, he's definitely taking shots. So hopefully once he gets through this area, he'll be okay. 
is Z list this game such a unique concept and intriguing man it really is i i didn't exa exactly expect to like it because i figured like you know come on it's a carrier simulator sounds a little tedious and a little boring but man i can't get enough of it i just keep playing it i keep streaming it i think i've streamed this one four times already it's just a fun game it really is now could it be improved oh yeah like there's there's a few things that they could do to improve it but i love it man this part needs to be improved just the fact that we have to wait now for everything to get back and we can't fast forward that's a little silly by the way while we're here let's take a look at what the easiest island near us is ursula is two high tack is two they're all two i've never seen this before well mnemonic is just one so actually we could go mnemonic but that's it's so far away guys and we'd be going against the current to get there it's it's almost like too much of a hassle we're probably better off just trying to attack that um that level two island see what happens ah okay i see what you're saying me that's not a bad idea it's not a bad idea send an aircraft out and explore the next island while waiting all right i'm a little worried about running out of fuel but it doesn't seem like they're too far right it doesn't seem like that island's too far from here take a look yeah pr probably not too bad bell tempest island is next folks here we go Oh, I'd love to do some multiplayer with followers. That's that's definitely a good idea for a future stream, um, El Biba. I think that's awesome, man. Definitely a good idea. Because I think this is one of those games where, like, the more people you have, the easier time you're going to have. It's going to be less of a challenge. I'll tell you what I'll do after this stream, especially since I'm already getting a little weird. And I, I don't know if it's... I really don't know if it's vaccine again. This could also be, like, a placebo effect. Uh, but I'll put it on the Discord. I'll set it up so that we can actually have that happen. I took the... It's funny, because here in Portugal, they call it the Janssen. <laughs> but it's the Johnson & Johnson. Yeah, I took the Johnson & Johnson, so I, I only need to take it once. I don't need to take it a second time. I mean, that's what they're saying now. I'm sure that'll change. I'm sure that'll change, but um, right now... Yeah, they're, we're good. Yeah, I, I actually think the most... The thing that I disliked the most about it was just the process. Because they put you... Um, you know, obviously, you have to wait in a the line. There's sort of this gate um, gating you off. There's people in, like, uh, biohazard suits. And then the part that I really don't like... Oh, hold on. How can I unfuck myself here? How can I just cancel that? How do I cancel? Hold on. This might work. Um... I know what to do now. Sorry, I'm trying to talk and play at the same time. Um, the thing I didn't like was... So after I got the shot, they're like, Okay, um, we need you to sit in this room with all these people. And, hey, Petrus, what's up, buddy? And I'm like, uh, all right. And he's like, yeah, just stay here for 30 minutes and then you can go. And I'm like, well, why do you want me to stay here for 30 minutes? <laughs> and he wouldn't tell me. You know, he's just like, well, you know, just stay here for 30 minutes. And um, I highly suspect that it's because they want to see if anybody has, like, any serious side effects. And, you know, then they can kind of attend to them right there. But while you're waiting, it's pretty, pretty horrifying because you're just like, geez, you know, is, have they experienced this before? Has somebody uh, developed <laughs> some side effects? By the way, we need to fix this ship just from all the ground fire we took. It's another thing we didn't really do over here. Oh, that's right. One at a time. One at a time. Yes, that makes sense. That's what I, that's kind of what I suspected. Stay in case of an allergic shock. Yeah. Jeez. You're just waiting for somebody to drop. That's the thing, though. Thankfully, not too much damage. I think we actually took most of our damage over here to the bridge. So this is not too bad to do while you're waiting around. Although, you know what's going to make this go even faster? Is if we turn off our cruise missile and our main gun. Put all power to repairs.
The bridge is where you live. Oh, it's the uh, the captain's bridge. It is indeed. Got my waifu doll. Just sit there in the chair and hold on to her. Got a kickback stand and I'm good to go, man. Good time. Usually I watch a YouTube video here on the hollow map before, uh, before going to sleep. Well, let's take a look there at the... Our bad boy. Hello, bad boy. Yeah, that fuel's not looking great. Just wanted to switch to the gimbal, but uh, I took over manual control. I hope that doesn't mess us up too much. Holy hell, what is that? Oh. Enemy, definitely enemy ships. Definitely enemy ships out here. But are they firing? Uh, they think they're firing missiles to try to hit us. No, 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 no. I don't like that. Let's just get all information we can for sure. These are ocean, sh ocean craft. Turn on CIWS. Okay, hold on. I don't know where CIWS is. I've never had to use this. Uh, uh, no, it's CIWS. All right, there we go. It's on. Oh, ship stuff, not aircraft stuff. Oh, okay, so I need to do it on the actual aircraft. Let's see. Yeah, I see the enemy ships right there. I actually see their markers. Um, let's see. Select attachment, I guess. Mm, not sure. All right, let's keep marking targets in the meantime. We got lucky. Let's just put it that way. We got lucky. Plenty of land targets, too, out here for sure. It really can, Petrus, and um, I think it was Meep here. I apologize if it was someone else. I, I have a really shit ability. I think it may have been, um, no, it was LB. Um, LB came up with a great idea, and that is what we should do in future streams, is I'll just open up the multiplayer, and um, you guys can join up, because this is that the kind of game where like the more people you have playing, uh, the easier time you're gonna have. Getting some additional views here. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Machine gun fire. Oh, shit. Okay. Speaking of kicking your butt, Petrus. I think I know what you're talking about, my friend. Well, and it seems we're also taking shots here from land. You gotta be kidding me. All right, let's power out, for God's sake. Just power out. They are really coming after us, man. We can fix all this, but of course it's kind of a pain in the ass. F to drone boy. Yes, absolutely. I mean, he did mark targets, so I'm happy. Um, we're certainly going to be able to call in a lot of those targets with torpedoes. Be able to down uh, the ships, but I kind of wish he, uh, he did somewhat better there. So now let's just focus on repairs. Why, thank you, Meep. Get kisses from Dr. Steve Brule. I mean, who doesn't want that? That's that's pretty good stuff right there, man. We're going to have to just kind of hang out here for a bit and repair this mother. So I'm just going to make sure that we're not getting shot at anymore. Yeah, we're good. Just stop her. And now... The weapon right is the one that's really badly damaged. Let's just put full power to that right now. It's repairing pretty quickly. See, I wonder if I can, like, have you guys join now, but I think once I hit the single player... Yeah, I've, I've got to start off with the multiplayer, I believe.
Ooh, save it, then load it up as a multiplayer save. Right on. I, I, I would definitely do it um, this time, but I think, you know, I don't know if this stream is going to last very long just because I'm probably going to go lay down uh, and let this thing kind of kick in, see how I feel. Um, but I think in the future, I'm definitely going to just start off with multiplayer. It's good to know, though, that I can, like, save an existing campaign and be like, guys, I need, I need your help here, and you guys can join my campaign and help me be it. That's definitely going to be something I'm going to take advantage of. No worries, buddy. I I'm not going to do anything tonight myself, Petrus, um, because of the, the vaccine. I really just want to kind of monitor myself. Boom. Get that hole back up to normal. There's the bridge. Doesn't look like it's getting repaired, but I'll take I'll take their word for it. And again, I just want to make sure, is it really the right idea to go onto that island? I don't know. I'm almost tempted to send out one of the um, drones and kind of risk the drone, because I don't feel as bad losing a drone as I do about losing a... Um, um, what are those things called? Well, I guess I don't feel bad about losing a smaller drone as I do about feeling losing one of those larger drones. So let's send that out. We're going to bring them up to 2,000 feet and maybe try to mark some more targets. Might not be such a bad idea. I would like if there was an animation damage decal, but so far, no dice. I agree, me. I agree big time. And again, there's a lot... Here's the thing. There's a lot more that they need to improve before they get to that um, to that stuff, to the, the aesthetics. But I agree with you. It's already a be beautiful game. But it would be nice to, like, you know, have some gashes, for instance, in the sheet metal or whatever. Have some screens with, like, cracks in them, etc. Like, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, this is almost perfect, so... Do a little more repair... All right. And the current is with us, so we can just go ahead and turn right into it. Oh, wait a minute. I think we might still have a ground unit trying to get on board. Let me make sure. Yeah. The seal. We got to wait for the seal, guys. My bad. All right, let's take the razor bill. Another thing I didn't do is I didn't check what reward we get for taking the previous island, so let's do that as well. All right, do something like that. I think it was some sort of chassis. Again, it's not letting us take those, um, like an additional chassis over four. We've had it in the actual stock, but it could just be because we have a lack of cash. I wonder if it's that or if there's like a limit, you know, like you need to lose the other ones before you can order more. Yeah, they do. I hope this one isn't out of fuel now that you mention it. Although I didn't see an icon for out of fuel. Maybe I didn't look closely enough. No, he's good on fuel. But yeah, I've had that happen where, for instance, I've sent one of my seals into a current and I've had to pull him back pretty quickly. In fact, even though we're not moving forward, this thing is still moving a little bit. So I'm going to hit the reverse button and uh, just get back up to that seal so that he doesn't have to worry about coming out all this way. Few things from his perspective. Yeah, we really m might need to back up a bit because for him to get out here, it's just going to take forever. So let's just. We're already in reverse. We'll just back up to the poor guy. Oh, 
Oh, the maintain heading. Seems to make the engine try and keep you in the exact position. Where we got that there maintain heading button? I know I've seen it before, too. That's the worst part. Uh, there we go. All right. Yeah, he's getting closer. He's getting closer, but now we kind of have to pay attention to this fella. The Razor Bill. Oh, no, look at that fuel. 73. No way, man. We got. We might have to bring her back. He's already at 73. Take a look at the camera here, but I don't actually think that this guy can pick up much. He doesn't have a gimbal camera. So, shame on me. Let's bring him back. There's no point in risking him. I could risk that second drone, but I'm guessing that's probably not a good idea. Yeah, I see him. I see him. It does. It does pixel it. And that's one of the reasons that people are talking about wanting that, like, that fast forward option because you know bringing these guys back to the ship it's very cool but it can be a little tedious and like unnecessary like there should be a way to speed this up basically it's definitely true ah interesting okay that's fine though we'll we'll knock her off here in a second i think we're pretty close at this point we can probably actually shut her down now. Hello, droney, droney, drone. He's coming back. Let's have a look out there. Gonna be cresting this next wave, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, a lot of people have mentioned that, Pix. A lot of people have mentioned that the asking price is a bit high. When I was playing with um, Scarlet Seeker, I think, you know, one of the points that he made that I absolutely agree with is you've, you've got to keep in mind that this is a very niche game. You know, I, I even told some friends about it. Um, they're like, what are you playing? And I told them, and they're like, what's that? You know, they had no idea whatsoever. So um, I think just for that alone, they kind of have to charge top dollar because they know they're not going to make much in terms of sales. Um, so trying to maximize the profits there is... It's definitely a big deal for them. Yeah, he's getting back. It's just taking, taking the lad a little while. Wish the DCS Super Carrier module was this deep. See, and that's just it. It's not just that that this is a good game in terms of, like, a, a carrier um, simulator, but I'm not a fan of carrier games. Like, Carrier Deck, when I used to work for Slytherin, I hated streaming that game. I'm not a fan of carrier games in general, but this one... Like, just the feeling you get, like, on the open ocean and seeing, you know, the 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 craft you've sent into, into battle, you know, succeed. I think it's, it's really cool. It just gives you an amazing feeling. No time acceleration. That's what just about everybody in this stream has asked for the same exact thing. I want it, too. I want some time acceleration. Like, it should absolutely exist. Come on. Silent Hunter 3 has time.